Roadmap. Kick verification and main it balance transfer. Know your customer client, Kick, is a process that verifies identification to distinguish genuine accounts from fake ones. The vision of Pi Network is to build an inclusive and the most widely distributed token and ecosystem for all pioneers. Hello, welcome to Crypto Burn. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe and notification bell button down below, so, you get to know whenever we post similar videos like this. Having said that, let's go to the video. The mining mechanism of Pi Network is social network based, and the mining rate has halved 5 times so far as the social network size grew to over 1k, 10k, 100k, 1m, and 10m engaged members. Therefore, Pi has a strict policy of one account per person. This requires a high degree of accuracy to establish that members in the network are genuine human beings, preventing individuals from being able to unfairly hoard Pi by creating fake accounts. Pioneer's kick results will depend on not only identity verification, but also their name matching with the Pi account and screening against government sanction list. Kick, thus, helps ensure the true humanness of the network and compliance with the anti-money laundering, AML, and anti-terrorism regulations. As communicated at the founding of the network, to ensure true humanness, fake Pi accounts and scripted mining are strictly prohibited. These accounts will be disabled and will not be able to migrate to mainnet. Over the past three years, multiple technical mechanisms have been implemented to identify bots and fake accounts. For the accounts identified as highly likely to be fake by Pi's algorithm, the weight is on these accounts to prove otherwise. These identified fake accounts will either be disabled or go through a much more rigorous review and appeal process. The allocation of kick slots will be prioritized for accounts with a high likelihood of being true human holders. Only the accounts with verified identities will be allowed to transition to mainnet, and only the Pi balances attributable to identity verified accounts will be allowed to transfer to the mainnet balance. When a pioneer and their referral team and security circle members pass the kick determines if, and when, and to what extent, a pioneer can transfer their balances. Below is a hypothetical example to illustrate how the kick verification of pioneers affects their balances in migration to the mainnet. For simplicity, we define different concepts of Pi balances as follows. Mobile balance, the Pi balance currently shown in a Pioneer's account in the Pi mobile app. Transferable balance, the balance that has been allowed to be transferred to the mainnet because the Pioneer and their specific associated individuals in the referral teams and security circles have passed kick. Mainnet balance, the balance that has been migrated and transferred by the Pioneer to the mainnet. Suppose individual A is the owner of a Pi account who wants to transfer their mobile balance. During the enclosed mainnet period, any mobile balance that has not become transferable balance will remain in the mobile mining app until the associated pioneers in the referral team and security circles pass kick, and the corresponding amount becomes transferable to mainnet. In the case of the above example of Pioneer A, the balance contribution by C, E, and G will remain as mobile balance for A in the mining app waiting for them to pass kick in order for such balance to become transferable. If such associated accounts never pass kick, the balance attributed to these non-kicked accounts will expire at a certain date which will have allowed enough time for the whole network to kick. The unclaimed balances due to lack of kick will be discarded by not being transferred to the mainnet at all. Restrictions in the enclosed network. While transactions between Pi apps and Pioneers and Pioneer to Pioneer transactions are allowed within Pi Network, the enclosed network will have in place the restrictions as listed below. These restrictions at this stage help enforce the enclosed nature of the network, there will be no connectivity between Pi and other blockchains or crypto exchanges. Mainit can only be accessed through the Pi wallet and Pi apps on the Pi browser. The mainnet blockchain will be accessible to any computer on the internet, but only through a firewall, to enforce the above rules. There will only be core team nodes on the mainnet to ensure that the firewall is in place at all times. The enclosed network will support the economic activities and growth of the Pi ecosystem. Thus, pioneer-to-pioneer -pioneer transactions are possible through the Pi wallet, as kicked pioneers will be able to use the Pi wallet to transact in Pi. Pioneers can also spend Pi and Pi apps on the Pi browser, which can access the mainnet through the Pi Apps SDK and the Pi Blockchain API. During the enclosed network period, an app on the Pi browser can only use the Pi Blockchain APIs whitelisted by the firewall to interact with the mainnet. The following uses of Pioneer to Pioneer, Pioneer to App, and App to Pioneer transactions will be allowed. Exchange of Pi for goods and services through Pi apps. Transfer of Pi between Pioneers for goods and services. 
The following uses will be prohibited. Exchange of Pi for fiat currency. Exchange of Pi for other cryptocurrencies. Transfer for Pi for a future promise of fiat or other cryptocurrencies. We will enforce the above restrictions by adding a firewall to the mainnet and by exclusively running the mainnet nodes for this interim period. Community nodes will continue to run on the testnet in the enclosed network period. We will continue to implement interface and other changes to the nodes in preparation for the open network period, where the community nodes will be able to run on the mainnet. The restrictions of the network to keep it enclosed will be relaxed as it reaches the next period, open network. The open network period. Depending on the maturity of the enclosed network economy and the progress of the kick, this period may begin on Pi Day, March 14, 2022, PI 2 Day, June 28, 2022, or later. The open network period means that the firewall in the enclosed network period will be removed, allowing any external connectivity, e.g., to other networks, wallets, and anyone who wants to connect to Pi Mainnet. API calls will not be firewalled, and pioneers will be able to run their own Pi nodes and API services. Pioneers will have connectivity with other blockchains. Community nodes can also run the mainnet. We want to especially appreciate you for giving us audience and please don't forget to drop a comment, click on the subscribe and notification bell button down below. Disclaimer, please note that this is not financial advice. We do not assume any responsibility for any loss or damage caused by your actions or inactions as a result of watching any of our videos. You acknowledge that you use the information we provide to you at your own risk. While you're still here go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen.